Well, in southern Utah now, Zion National Park is seeing an influx of visitors. And this spring break season, park officials are asking people to plan ahead when scheduling their next trip. ABC4 Southern Utah correspondent Jordan Verdadero has the details. Even though it's a cloudy, windy day with scattered showers, that didn't stop people from paying a visit to Springdale and Zion National Park. <laughs> The Campbell family is visiting Zion National Park on spring break from Oregon. They tell ABC4 they planned this trip weeks in advance. It was pretty busy, so um, we got here early, but the process was really easy when, when we got here. The park's scenic drive can now only be accessed by a new shuttle service offering visitors a safe experience during the COVID-19 pandemic. There was a lot of families. Most of them were on trips like us, and there was a lot of people. The Campbell family took that shuttle, but say it wasn't easy to get tickets. At five o'clock, we had a few minutes to grab a shuttle, so we had three minutes, and then it shut down, and we were lucky to get a ticket. Zion National Park officials say because of more visitors this year, it's more important than ever to plan ahead. When the park opened up and then they started running their shuttles on March 13th, the increase in traffic has really been substantial. Almost every day, Phil Aden talks to hundreds of people at the Zion Springdale Visitor Center. Most of our visitors are out of state. California is a huge market. He says after several quiet months, he's excited to see park visits pick up again. Spring breaks influence it, but I really think that the biggest factor is that people are just, they just want to get out and come see a beautiful place. If you don't plan in advance like the Campbells, there are other opportunities for your trip at Zion. For more information, head to ABC4.com. Reporting in Springdale, Jordan Bertadero, ABC4 News.